Curious to know how your little one can build their first electronic project? Just wait and see. Today, we're reviewing the Smile Cadeau's Science Circuit Board set to see if this is really good for preschoolers three and above. For more information about how you can get this product, make sure to check out the description below where I will link all the details so that you can have this sent to your family. We're now gonna go over all the initial things you need to know about to ensure you have a great experience when playing with this for your child. The one thing that I do wanna call out is that some of the pieces of this kit may affect those who have epilepsy or who are sensitive to flashing lights. So just be very mindful if your child has any sensitivity to light, if they have epilepsy, if they get seizures, there are some parts of this circuit board that does flash. So that's something I wanted to call out in advance in case you were interested in getting this for your child. Now let's get into the pros of this science kit. What I like about it is that it really is a two person experience. The parent and the child or two children can really come together, teaches them early about how things like electricity work. You have different functions and mode that are within the science kit that you and an adult, adult and the child can work through. And I really like that it's very interactive. If your child is of preschool age, most of the time you'll have to read the instructions to them, but you will definitely see that they like being interactive with it. My son had a really good time of following the directions that my husband gave him. So that's one of the perks that I find with this. Also it allows me to get a very early start on understanding STEM, science, technology, engineering, and mathematics. Because you are dealing with different function modules, you're understanding positive and negative energy. So that's also a good way of introducing your child to STEM. If that's something that they have expressed that they're interested in, I think it's really cool to be able to see how the different colors work once you're plugging one circuit into another. And of course, based on the different power source that you're using, it also allows your child to see how things work based on velocity and how much power is put behind a particular function. Okay. Look. Yes. I farm experiments. Okay. So, what is this? So, MA, MA is current... Uh, current interface and V is voltage interface. I would say one of the cons that I have found is that if you're not really technical, it can be a little hard to follow the instructions. Sometimes some of the pieces look very similar and it can be kind of hard to figure out what function to make what module work. So really making sure you're taking your time and reading the instructions so that your child can also follow along is something that I would recommend. I would also recommend making making sure that you keep the pieces kind of separate so that if you need it to change out the power source, for example, you're easily able to do that. Sometimes when switching out different experiments, it requires using the same piece, different voltage and vice versa. It's a lot of moving parts. So just make sure you're taking it slowly so that you nor your child gets frustrated. But as someone who's not really tech savvy, my husband had to do it because it was really hard to follow along on how to make everything work. Now that it's back to school, I really think this is a great opportunity to, to introduce STEM to children. So if you are looking for a good introduction way of introducing STEM to them, I highly recommend this. My son really enjoyed it. My husband enjoyed playing this with him. And I just really enjoyed both of them having a really nice time and bonding. It's one of the things that I like to see is that there are games that are really geared towards children who are interested in the sciences. And this is one of those options. Everything is battery operated, so you don't have to worry about any shock. It is one part that you have to put water into. So just be very mindful when you're doing the circuits that require any water, making sure that you're keeping this on the flat surface because they will fall and they can break really easily if you're not very mindful of that. But overall, I would highly recommend this for someone who is interested in STEM for their children and want to give them a good way of understanding how power works. If you find that this game is a little too intense for your little ones, do not worry. My son really likes the STEM category and so we have had the opportunity to experiment with other type of STEM applications. So check out this video that I have linked. If you want something for a smaller child who's probably around 18 months to three years old, 